Today, I'm talking about 10 things that you need to be effortlessly stylish this fall. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. I'm excited to see you guys. Today, we are talking about the 10 things that you need to be stylish. Before I get into that, if you guys are not subscribed, and there's lots of you that are, I looked at the stats, I'm like, it's literally like 90% of you that are watching these videos are not subscribed, but I want you to hang out with me, and it makes me feel good and pumps me up to make more videos, and it's free. Hit that red subscribe button down below, and we will hang out, and all of the items that I talk about will get emailed directly to you. So you want to be subscribed. It's a really good thing for you. So moving on being stylish. This is something that a lot of people are good at and a lot of people want to be good at. So what does it mean to be stylish? It means that you can literally throw anything on in your closet and get out the door in 10 minutes and you look bomb. So what do you need? I've done a million videos on basics, wardrobe basics. That is something that actually is very important to being stylish. So I'm going to kind of blend that with the everyday necessities that include makeup and like little things that you may not think of. Okay. So the first thing that you need is a white t-shirt, but not any white t-shirt. You will need to have a white t-shirt that fits you really well and not just a casual one. I'm talking about a dressy white t-shirt. I want to say thank you to Lily Silk. You don't know how much I love this brand. They sent me this shirt. I'm going to make a confession. I got this shirt and a few other things and I literally have had this shirt on three days in a row. Something about this company is that they do direct to consumer and they are fair trade. So they pay their workers directly. They are special artisans that work with silk and they pay them and then they sell directly to you. The owner and the CEO of the company actually was working in France in a silk company and now she is somewhere else. So it's really good quality. I've been very impressed with them all around. Something I love about this t-shirt, it is silk. I like where it sits on my body. It cuts right at my waist. For me, this is the perfect place for this t-shirt to hit. I also like where it hits in the shoulders. I also like where the V-neck hits. It's not too low. It's not too high. It's just a perfect cut for me and the width. This is an extra small and I am 5'4". I have a big chest though and it fits me perfectly. I love it. Lily Silk has actually offered my followers 12% off using the code KimXO12. I will leave that link down below. They have literally everything, bed sheets, pajamas, clothing. It's the bomb. Go check them out. So I can actually move on and talk about the second thing you need in your wardrobe that makes you, that helps you to be really stylish. And that is a good fitting pair of jeans. I have an obsession with these jeans. They're from Mother Denim and I bought them and they're a crop flare. I don't know, they're just super comfy. Right now when I'm filming this video, we're coming out of summer, coming into fall. So if you're watching this video in the middle of winter or three years from now, I know styles have changed, but we're talking about being stylish right now in 2019. So in 2019, at the end of summer, these are my favorite. The cut, the color, the wash, the stretch. And so I literally, I can dress them up with a blouse and heels. I dress them down with a t-shirt and runners. They just fit really well. And so if I need to go out in the pinch, I'm always in them. The third item that you need to be effortlessly stylish in your closet is the basic jacket. Okay, wait, here's the point where I normally say to you guys, you need a moto jacket. You need a jean jacket. You need an army jacket. If you watch my videos, you know, I'm like eh, 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 on all the basics. I was missing for me, a bomber jacket. And then I found this on Lily Silk and I was like, okay, I must have that jacket. I haven't seen one like this before. It is literally my dream jacket, not lying. It is a thin silk jacket. I am 5'4", about 115 pounds, and this is a size small. Um, and it fits me perfectly um, in my arms and in my body in the length. So just take that into account if you guys want to order one. It's just an easy throw on jacket. So I'm not going to lie. I had a photo shoot and I had a few other things that happened the last few days. I threw on this white t-shirt and this jacket because it's kind of that in between weather. So I threw this on with these jeans and these runners and I went out the door. And then this morning I had to drive one kid to volleyball at 6 AM and I had on a pair of army like camo sweatpants. And then I threw on this jacket because it still goes with the sweatpants. I was like, oh, found the jacket. So anyway, this is literally the quintessential jacket. I think if you have all the others, and even if you don't, this is my current fave. I'm loving it. Something you need to be effortlessly stylish, a great jacket, my current fave, the Silk Bomber. 
The next thing you need on your list to be able to run out the door quickly is a pair of white runners. I literally did a whole video on white runners. I'll leave a link to that below. You can see all the ones that I picked and how to match your style to the white runners that are out there. Currently, these Alexander McQueen's are my favorite. I got them in Paris this summer. I wear them with everything. I wear them with dresses, I wear them with jeans, I wear them with my sweatpants. You need a pair in your closet, throw them on with your favorite jeans, sweats, whatever, and you will walk out the door looking great. The next item you need to be effortlessly stylish to walk out the door is always a day dress. You need a day dress, everyone. Like I said, we're currently heading into fall. I found this one from Petite Studio in New York. Here's what I like about it. I like the color, it's very fall. I like that it's not too busy, but it still has that floral pattern. I like that it has long sleeves because it's cooler weather, which means I don't necessarily need a jacket. I also like the deep V and this one, the cut is just above the knees. So I can throw this on with a pair of black booties. I can throw it on with a, pair, with a leather jacket. I can also throw it on with a pair of heels. And in fact, sometimes I will wear a day dress with heels if I have a meeting and then I'll chuck off the heels. And if I'm going out, I'll put on booties and a leather jacket and I just keep going. Just an everyday dress. This is a really cute one. I like this one. I'll put a few links to other ones down below. We are at number six. I feel like I tuck like a broken record about this, but honestly, it's so important, a classic black blazer. And then I get comments down below, well, I kind of wear a black blazer and that's not my style. And like, to be honest, it's not really my style either, but you know how many times I've used this black blazer? So many times. So this one is from a company called Smythe. I literally, it is worth, every penny that you put into spending into a classic item. So a lot of these items here, I'm giving you more classic ones and they're ones that you should actually put the money and the effort into. So this classic black blazer, the reason I like it, this is the wrap blazer. It just fits me in the shoulders. I love where it, the cut is, it's past my waist. I just, I'm a tiny person and it looks really good. And it looks good when the buttons are done too. So I've worn it on TV, I wear it out with clients, I wear it with jeans, I wear it with runners. A classic black blazer, until you actually have one in your closet, you will not know what you have missed. One of the things that you need is like a clear, consistent makeup go-to look. For someone like me that does not wear a lot of makeup, it is important to me to have like literally five things. And so Brittany, who's my makeup artist in Toronto on the East Coast when I'm on TV there and a friend of mine, um, her brand is called Fancy Face. So she told me, and we actually did a video about this. I'll leave the link to the video down below. It is literally how to get ready in five minutes and use that look as your everyday look. And I'm not joking you guys, every time I go out with my girlfriends, they're like, oh, you look so good. I'm like, yeah, it's my look. So I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what I use. This is my, when I have to get out of the house 10 minutes, this is what I'm doing. Item number one that I use is a tinted moisturizer by NARS. Why do I use it? Because it's very sheer. So I put it on my fingers. I put it on my face like cream, done. Once I put that on, I put on blush. This one is by Fancy Face. My friend Brittany Gray did a makeup line. Here is what I love about this. I swipe over and it is bronzer and blush in one. And I just put it on and here's another trick she taught me. So I will like throw this on like boom, boom, boom. And then I will grab a smaller brush and I rub it in here and I put it on my eyelids. She told me that is what she does when she's heading out the door. And it is a rule that I have now followed and I get compliments all the time. So thank you, Brittany. And then for my lips, my go-to is always a nude lipstick. I have all of these from Fancy Face. So if you buy her whole collection, comes in a little makeup bag and it comes with all of the essentials. I believe it's just the essentials kit. I can't remember what it's actually called, but I'll leave a link to it down below. It is the perfect shade of nude. So you've got matte gloss, lipstick, and um, a lip liner. Lip liner I use too. So anyway, that's it. That is my go-to makeup. I'll walk out the door and I look great. The next item that you need to have, and like, I mean need, when I walk into people's wardrobes and I'm looking through things, I'm like, uh, you don't have any like everyday jewelry. Like, where's your everyday jewelry? And a lot of people don't have it. And so um, something that you need is everyday jewelry, gold or silver, whatever you like. Something that's trending right now is like the fine layered jewelry. Sometimes big chunky necklaces are trending. You know what, it's always changing. 
But I found these pieces, I kind of have an obsession with this one. And I leave mine on, I shower with mine on. You'll often see me with my K necklace. I did a collaboration where I designed a necklace. I'll leave a link to that down below. This brand is Ana Luisa. I love these guys. So I just got a whole bunch of pieces and I have thrown them on and I've just worn them the whole time. I've got so many compliments. Something really cool that these guys do and the reason that I love them. So they are gold plated, which means that they're not overly expensive. They're good everyday jewelry. You can layer them, but they're direct to consumer and they also use recycled gold which is a really cool thing because to mine gold actually takes a lot of efforts, a lot of damage on the earth. It's like, you know, so it's just a big thing. So they use recycled gold, which I think is pretty cool. And then they do um, direct to consumer, which means that they're sending right to you and they don't have to mark up the prices. Oh yeah, something else I forgot about them. The designer actually worked, I believe with Louis Vuitton and Tiffany before, and now they use the same factories that make Tiffany and Louis Vuitton jewelry actually makes Ana Luisa. So it's a really high quality product. I've been completely impressed with them. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. I'll do another video on it, but classic jewelry is something that you need. Check these guys out because they have a bunch of pieces that I really like. Effortlessly stylish. What is better than a comfy, cozy turtleneck that is going to keep you warm and also keep you cool at the same time? This one is a very thin one from Lily Silk. Again, the properties in the silk is very breathable. It keeps you nice and cool and it's thin. I've worn this and I've tucked it into pants. I think it's really cute. I've also layered it under dresses. So this is a great piece. Any black turtleneck will do to have in your wardrobe, but you know that moment when it's a little bit cooler, maybe you don't wanna wear a jacket. Turtleneck is a great piece. You look instantly finished. Tuck it in with jeans and heels. It's like very Janet Gretzky if you guys know who Janet Gretzky is. It's very Janet Gretzky. It was one of her favorite looks and one of my favorite looks. So this is a this is a really good piece. I'm always on the hunt for a great turtleneck. I don't know about you guys, but I do know that I really like this one. It's the perfect fit for me. So check it out. I'll leave a link down below, but a black turtleneck, great for fall. Something that is so important to have in your wardrobe, if you want to look effortlessly stylish, and that just means being prepared at any moment, walking out with something nice, a quality handbag. So handbags and shoes are kind of my thing. I feel like I can have on a Target t-shirt, an H&M t-shirt, a Value Village t-shirt, and a pair of jeans from wherever. And if I have a really good quality handbag, which is something that I cherish, and I try to buy classic ones, and I saved up a really long time for my first Chanel, and I bought that, it was a small one, a wallet on a chain, I still have it. I think that one's 15 years old. I use it all the time. This is a new one I have from YSL. I really like it, it's in nude. So I would say, if you wanna invest in anything, a quality handbag is definitely something to do that. You should save up your money and buy the best one that you can afford. So it doesn't matter whatever that means to you, but a classic is always so good to have. And you can find them. You can find them in secondhand stores. You can find them online. Um, you don't actually have to buy new, but in any of the basic colors, that would that's what I would suggest. Also, I did a video on how to buy a handbag for your body type. And it's actually a thing. So if you are like a pear or an hourglass or a rectangle, there's a bag that looks better on your body type. So I'll leave a link to that video down below. I feel like you should watch it, it'd be really helpful. Anyway, a really nice handbag, whatever price point that works for you, the best quality that you can afford, effortlessly stylish. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was a really fun video for me to make. I think because these are literally all of my favorite things. So I really enjoyed it. Thank you to Lily Silk for sending the pieces. I'm obsessed. And if you guys have not subscribed, remember, hit the red subscribe button down below and leave a comment down below to what your favorite things are. And if you have any questions for me, I answer. I always try to get back to everyone and I look forward to hearing from you. Ten things that you need to have to be effortly Cut. Ten things that you need to have to be effortly Why can't I talk? The third item that you need to be stylishly. You can use that clip.